Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tower of God Season 2 Episode 13 Reaction. So, the previous episode, Kun gets saved by um, uh, Viole's teammates and uh, now he obviously he has a lot of questions and he also is questioning the fact whether that was a bomb or not or you know who that was because you know like he remembers like Emily telling him that oh bomb is alive so all these questions were there in his head and he by the end of it he's like yeah that is definitely bomb but he was kind of going in a misunderstanding like he was thinking like why is he not with us why is he helping uh, you know like why is he with uh, Fag all of these things he was thinking which was interrupted by Yuarung and she comes and kind of like elaborates what's going on and uh, which kind of helps him not go into a misunderstanding about Bam which you know like is good I'm like because this would go in a whole drama direction then like oh like Kun would think that Bam is like like you know like has changed or something it would have gone on a very wrong direction so I appreciate that Yuarung came and like you know cleared it up and in the end what happened was basically that uh, Kun will be participating with uh, Viole's teams in the workshop match while uh, Viole is going to be participating with that other group. Also, not only that, um, but Dan is alive and uh, turns out Rahel just left him, kept him alive because he just, want, she just wanted to look down upon him. So he's alive and he's like ready now to, even though he's lost his leg, he's ready to go and participate in the match and you know win this so yeah that's where it ended let's see what happens today let us begin i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is the preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> oh walk runs here Oh, this is um, when Dan woke up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 I guess, but hmm. oh. okay. Okay. <sighs> right.
Yep, there you go. All right, he's, he's saying everything to them. And Wagner also knows, like, his situation with his friends, how they've been taken hostage. Yeah. That is true. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's just sit down and talk a little bit then, you know. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. So. I don't think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the bathroom, okay. Yeah, they got involved in such a weird situation. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Oh, this cool? Mm, yes. Yeah, he's conflict. No, Kun can help. Oh, so that's what he's thinking. I see. That's his train of thought. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't think that he was thinking it like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think that's a bit too far, but you know. Hmm. Okay. Nope, oh, he's back. Nice. Well, he has a lot of questions and a lot of things to ask.
Yeah, after it almost killed me. Okay. What? Right. What the who the? Okay. Yeah. Damn, those two were suspicious as hell. Horn. Riffle Oh boy. Are they like part of fog? Or... Damn, that scared me! Well, gotta build up your muscle <laughs> and strength. Wow, wait, so the one month time skip? <laughs> oh, okay, that's nice. He has a whole schedule in his iPad. <laughs> oh, what? Right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, can you run like before? Probably still not. <laughs> well, you guys have been practicing for one month, so. Damn, what? She's not slept? Emily? I don't think it's a good idea to ask Emily. I don't trust Emily. Hmm. 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 All right. Oh, this is uh, young. <laughs> well, then don't try to. There's a very easy way to counteract this. Just don't aim. Aim other somewhere else, and it'll automatically hit. But I guess it's completely random in that way. Bruh, she missed everything. Yeah? Everyone's just... 
He cannot sleep. Everyone's training and he's like, bro, I, I just want to sleep, guys. Wow, you guys are going to mess up on the test. And then everyone will fail and we'll all go back home. Well, at least you cannot train in the thing, so they're definitely going to sleep. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, everyone he worked with up until now were just like all really good play like team teammates. Wow, the complete opposite of the others. Okay, so Endorse's team is also going to participate. All right. I guess that makes sense. Interesting. Oh, Rack is going. <laughs> we passed the test okay nice right so after that the workshop exam after this Who the hell is this? Hmm. The, the whole room is empty except one chair. That is such a waste. Whoa! Damn! Yo! Crazy! Probably. Oh, we'll be fighting. Okay, so we're still not going to be facing Jue. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> mm. All right, here we are. Oh, damn. Archimedes. Okay. Hmm.
What the hell is that? Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, the Archimedes is just there. Hmm. Yeah. That's very important. Kuhn as well. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think they believe that you died. Like they just saw it and they just, they just didn't even react, except that one dude. But yeah, I think they they thought that this was. Oh, is that shackled? Oh, because they don't trust him. <laughs> Where is the shackles? Oh, in the legs. Okay. Damn. Okay, don't try to provoke him. Oh my god. Hey, well. <laughs> Right, it just... <laughs> mm. Yeah, they don't know that Viola's, uh, you know, like, connection with Kuhn. <laughs> yeah, his, his whole eyes are hidden behind his bangs, so... Huh. Yep, there you go. Yeah, everyone's here. It's previous teammates and new teammates. What the? Yeah, random. Okay. Okay. Oh, what? Who the hell? Oh. 
Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, and that was today's episode. Right, so, uh, yeah, nothing much happened today. Basically, they were all, like, getting ready and, uh, you know, like, for the workshop battle. Kuhn was, you know, wanted to cooperate with them, but obviously Wagner and everyone else had a few, you know, like, not everyone else, but Wagner himself had a little bit of a hesitation, but in the end, he was like, okay, let's do it. And then we also meet um, via a few new teammates of for Viole, that those two masked people, there's this one masked dude and there's another masked person. So, you know, they're, they're quite strong looking at them. And it seems like they know Viole and they like respect Viole as much as that other girl also does, like that bunny girl. So that's also happening. Um, I do wonder who though they are and why they have like this much of... Like, they call, like, you know, like that, that dude was calling him Viole-sama or something like that. So, you know, I'm thinking maybe are they like the... In the same situation as that other girl, that bunny girl, I, I've forgotten her name, so you know, I think her name was Jia or something like that. Um, so is it a similar situation like her? That's why they like look at, up to Viole in like you know respect, or are they part of Fark and they have been like um, you know posted here with Viole so that they can help him out with stuff? I do wonder. Whatever it is, you know, it seems like he has like a lot of respect for Viole and he's like you know. Yeah, either way, and uh, yeah, and then we also have Kuhn kind of like raking his brains, thinking and being concerned whether his new teammates will be able to pass the test. And uh, as Dan says, like this is probably the first time he's actually been this concerned about his own team because up until now he's worked together with like very good people, like very talented people. These, these new bunch, they are just very normal, you know, they're not really extra talented or anything. You could all, you know, could probably say they are a bit, they have like, you know, they're not like average either, they're below average. For example, you could see that, like they have potential, for example, uh, uh, Yon, for example, she's very good, like, you know, her, her flames and everything are really good, but she cannot hit the target, you know, like she has potential, but she cannot properly do it. So everyone is like that, so it's the first time Kuhn is actually dealing with a group which, where everyone isn't a genius, so you know, he's like kind of <laughs> raking his brains, thinking and being concerned. He's not as cool as he used to be. Um, yeah, so there you go, but eventually in the end they pass and everyone's going to the workshop battle. So. The three groups will be participating in the workshop battle. Obviously, the first group is Viole's new group uh, with, you know, uh, Ran and that other dude and a few other people, uh, new people. They're the first group. Uh, then we have um, Kuhn's group, Kuhn's new group, who, which consists of Viole's teammates and Kuhn himself. Also, the third group is Endorsi's group, which, you know, we all know Endorsi, uh, Anak, and the other few and a few new characters are over there so these three will be clashing also it seems i think like kun kind of implied that they will be actually fighting um Mendoza's group so uh, so kun's group will be fighting against Endorsi's group so any either one of the group will win and i'm assuming they're going to be going to the they're going to eventually fight um Violet's group. Hmm. Interesting. Like everyone is here. Like everyone is like at the same place. Like like all the people that Violet knows. Like his previous teammates, his new teammates, and you know, like and the other the the the, the newest group. This this one. So like everyone's here. So yeah, you know, this is, this should be interesting. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> Right, and yeah, that's basically what's going on. Nothing else we saw in today's episode. You know, that was, that was it. Um, yeah. Okay, oh, one thing I wanted to talk about is that when um, Wagner was like kind of hesitating in grouping up with Kuhn, like I was thinking, I do wonder why he's hesitating because I was thinking maybe he's like suspicious of Kuhn or something. Maybe he's like, oh, like, you know, why is he doing this? Why is he trying to help us get back Viole, you know, 
stuff like that which i guess it makes sense obviously he's he hasn't really met kun before and he's not really acquainted with him like the little that he knows about kun is the fact that he knows that um viola's previous teammates have been kind of taken as a hostage and that's why viola is uh, working with fag uh, so that no harm comes to them so that's all he knows about so suddenly seeing uh, i thought at least that suddenly seeing um, kun and seeing him act like that he he wasn't able to properly digest that whole fact and that's why he was hesitating like he knows that he should work together but there's a part of him that's not letting him but turns out that's not really true because in the end we get to know the real reason why he was hesitating he thought like obviously he himself knows how like weak their group is you know like yeah their group must might have potential but it doesn't matter because even if you have potential if you're not able to use it it's useless so that's the basic situ- situation of his group so he's like up until now he was obviously he knew that his group was like you know weak but he had faith in viole and kam who were like the two strongest characters in this group now both of them are gone so he's now thinking like why is kun like grouping up with us we who probably won't be able to do anything in the workshop ma- battle and will fail horribly instead of working with us he should work with someone competent enough to do something and win it and then get the fiola back so in a way he was kind of fearing for the fact that you know it, it wasn't that he was not happy about the fact that kun is grouping with him is the fact that he was like probably afraid that kun grouping up with them will probably make kun lose the one and only chance he could to get viola back because he wagner doesn't hope ha- have any type of faith in his own group and his their own ca- capabilities which is you know i guess it's true because they really aren't that good enough at least what we have seen of them they're good but you know not good enough they have like heavily relied on kang and viola up until now so he doesn't have any faith in himself or his own group so he was thinking like oh like grouping up with us will like rob kun of that one possibility that he could have gotten to bring back viole if he just like groups up with someone competent enough instead of grouping up with us grouping up with someone a group that is competent would give him a good chance to get viole back because at the end of the day like you know like he like wagner wants to get viole back as much as kun wants so he's fearing for the fact that if he groups up with them and they fail him then they'll lose the opportunity to get viole back you know something like that that's why he said to kun that you know like why grouping up with us you know we're not good enough at which kun is like oh like that's what you were you know like concerned about and he kind of laughs and he's like don't worry like any group that i uh, put my eyes on they're going to win you know like i don't i i i don't lose <laughs> yeah so there you go that's what happened right and uh, Yeah oh I forgot to mention another group is like joining which is Arag's group I completely forgot about him like like also the fact who is he teaming up with that one dude that one goblin looking dude <laughs> like and these two will be the only teammates I don't think is that even allowed <laughs> I'm not really sure but we'll see uh yeah but Rak is also on his way to you know join the join the the workshop battle you know I forgot about him for a moment <laughs> yeah all right interesting oh also another thing um this those masked guys that masked dude he apparently gave something to viole like he said he called it like the thorn power or something like that and he was like oh how do you like this so i do wonder what that is you know we'll see um yeah And there you go. That was it. That was today's episode. I guess you could say like today had like a little bit of a time skip, like a like a mini time skip. For example, they like trained for one month, which just you know we we didn't really see that much. They just you know like zoomed past that, and uh, then I think we like we had like a one or two month time skip, you know, which is you know like the time it took. I I wait a minute. Let me remember. How long did they say they have in the previous episode before the workshop match? I think they said like 
like six months or was it three months? I cannot remember. But that whole like time it has been you know skipped. Obviously, in this one has been covered in this one uh, episode. Um, so yeah, they have been training for quite a while, as you can see. And now we are finally here at the workshop battle, and uh, you know, um, yeah, the workshop battle will begin. Um, another thing, um, Dan. I don't know why. I just assumed that he would never be able to run, but. Now that I think about it, it, it they didn't really mention anything related to that. So I'm not 100% sure Like he's healed up now. But I do wonder if he'll be able to run as fast as he could back before Rahel, you know, injured him. So will he be able to run as fast as before or is the will the injury be like a, has has it made like a permanent like damage to his, uh, you know, like legs and he won't be able to run as fast. I do wonder about that. Um, but yeah, we, we, I, uh, you know, let's wait, we'll get our answers. Uh, but yeah, he's still kind of in the process of healing, as you can see. I'm guessing that's why he didn't participate in the workshop battle. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh no, he didn't participate in the test. In the workshop battle, will he, I, I'm assuming he will be participating, I'm not really sure. Did he go with us, along with Kuhn? I think he did. Wait a minute, let me check. Yeah, because I'm sure, like, you know, like, he will be participating because, yeah, Dan is there. There you go. Dan is also there. He, he went along with us. So he himself said that let's go and, you know, like, participate in the workshop battle and, you know, yeah, let's, let's do this. So he'll also be participating. So, okay. I do wonder if there's, like, some kind of a team limit. Like, you know, there's, like, a lot of, like, Hoon's group is actually quite big if you look at it. Like, we have Arcrafter, um, Wagnan. Uh, Dan, um, uh, what's her name? Yon, Go Seng, Mi Seng, Prince, and then we have Kuhn. There are quite a few of them, so I do wonder, like, will everyone be participating or like what's going to happen? Anyways, I'm I'm sure we'll get all our answers in the next episodes. Let's wait for it. And there you go. That was today's episode. Like I said, not much to talk about because today's episode was basically like a, you know, like a like nothing much happened. Uh, right, so that was that. Now let me talk about this episode scene by scene. Um, yeah, again, nothing much to talk about because we didn't really have anything today. Uh, at the first scene, we get to see, you know, like Wagnan, uh, that whole scene where uh, Wagnan comes and tells Kuhn that, oh, your friend is awake again. And, uh, you know, that whole section with Dan happens. And then Kuhn is like, let's do this. Let's go to the workshop match battle and let's win this. At which, obviously, everyone was like, yeah, let's do it. But Wagnan was kind of like deliberating. Now, like I said, I never would have, th I never thought that he was hesitating here because he was thinking that Kuhn should like group up with some competent enough group so that like he at least gets a chance to bring back Viole. He was actually un like, you know, kind of like didn't have any faith in himself or his own group. And he was thinking they're going to drag Kuhn down. You know, which is interesting because, you know, like, yeah, I guess that's a very, like, you know, what can I say? Like, I, I didn't think he, will, he was going to be thinking like that. But yeah, that's what he was thinking. And obviously everyone else was like, what, what, why are you hesitating? Like, you know, like, th he's the best chance we've got, you know. And uh, yeah, and, and nobody was really understanding what he was thinking and how Wagnan was looking at it. So that's why everyone was like, yeah, why are you trying to like, you know, like, but obviously Wagner has his own thoughts. So he kind of went down to the vending machine, grabbed like a Coke, um, you know, like a cola. And then he's just like, yeah, what should we do? He's thinking about it. And uh, he's, oh, also another thing he's thinking is that as he says, he like, in his head, he was like, oh, this will be a very simple thing. I'm going to be participating in this whole thing. You know, and, uh, you know, like, yeah, that's it. But things have gotten so complicated from that point onwards. So many things have happened. And now he's been, like, roped in into this such a convoluted mess of a, like, you know, situation. Uh, but it is true that he does want to help Viole, you know, so that is true. But he's just thinking, like, this was supposed to be so simple. Like, and he's like, and he kind of says something like, am I again going to be... Uh, you know, like climbing the tower or something like that, he says. Yeah, he says, like, I thought I've grown, but 
it seems like I've like hit a wall, like you know, and unless I until like overcome that, I cannot win the workshop match. And he's just like, yeah, what the hell is going on? Like this is just so crazy. But then Kuhn comes in, you know, in the vending machine, and they had like you know talk about the whole situation. And this is where um, you know Wagman says that, you know, like, yeah, like, just try to get a different group. Like we aren't really the group that you want. Will probably drag you down and not be able to win. At which Kun is like, oh, so that's all you were worried about? And he's like, ah, don't worry. Like, it's me we are talking about. I'll make you win. <laughs> yeah. But, anyways, so there you go. That was that. And, uh, you know, the new team has been formed. Over then, Khan uh, is talking with um, Kasano. And Kasano is like, oh, work with us. And I'm like, yeah, after try to kill him. Okay. All right. Um, and he's yo, she, he also says like uh, Sophie Sensei is there apparently, uh, you know. So I do wonder what's up with that because obviously, as we have seen in the flashback, they said that Sophie Sensei disappeared. So now she is back again, and they, they found her whereabouts. I'm assuming, but what does that have to do with the workshop battle? Wait a minute, just a minute, let me check. Come to the workshop with me, Elmar. And he's like, what? Dr. Sophia's waiting. Yeah, like, he hasn't really given us an explanation, which I'm guessing we'll get later. But I do wonder what connection Dr. Sophia has with winning the workshop battle. Like, you know, what, like, what type of connection? Anyways. Okay, and then we get to meet this new two characters. Both of them are masked. I think, the, obviously, the the one with the... You know, like a, like a humanoid mask. We've seen him interact with Viola and everything. The other character, that person didn't really interact with anyone. Who has like a full mask, like you know, like like a no opening in front, just just a mask. <laughs> I wonder how this person sees and smells <laughs> or breathes. You know. Anyways, so yeah, this guy comes and he's like, oh. I will be serving you, Master Viole. Refelgio, that's his name. Refelgio. Yeah, and he says, like, and he addresses the fact. He's like, oh, we're sorry. The way we brought you here is kind of excessive, you know. Um, and he's like, yeah, it's fine. You know, like, it, it was my mistake. I was, I was soft. So you took advantage of it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Viole literally says that. Um, right. Yeah, and while all of this is going on over there, Kuhn is training at his new group. And uh, yeah, it has been, they've been training for one month. And finally, it's the day of the test. I'm guessing that test was like a qualification test for the workshop exam. So Kuhn is like, you guys go back and take a nap, like rest your body. And uh, tomorrow will be the test. So be ready. And uh, there you go. And later on, we see... Um, like everyone is like trying their own way to do something about it. We can see Miseng comes in and Miseng is, uh, not Miseng, sorry, Goseng. Goseng comes in and she tells Kun that, oh, like, why don't we do this? Like he talks about, she talks about Emily and to make use of her. But I'm like, please don't try to make use of Emily. Like she, like, yeah, like everything that she has said has kind of worked out up until now. But I don't trust no one behind a screen who we don't even know who it is. <laughs> you know, like also the fact like Emily is not really like our sole, um, like, you know, helper or anything. Emily is like a universal app or a chatbot. So anyone can take the help of Emily. That in itself makes me feel like, you know, it's not worth it. Because if you get any type of idea from Emily, like if someone else asks the same thing, Emily might give them like our information and you know like some, something like because like I said it's not as if like Emily's only helping us Emily's helping everybody that in itself makes it a risk to ask for any help from Emily in in these type of situation at least or at least I don't trust her in a situation like this if it's like something like normal like trying to find someone or anything that's completely fine but you know like a test like this type of a test uh, where other people might also be asking Emily for help you know no don't like, you know, that kind of thing. Um, either way, and obviously Kuhn is like, don't worry about it. Like, you know, like you like have faith in yourself. 
you know you guys worked hard so everything will be fine also we get to see um uh, Seng is also training and Seng is like i don't want to lose uh kang and uh violet like i lost my mom and dad and prince is like don't worry i'll help you over there um yon is also training at night trying to hit the <laughs> target but she's missing everything and i'm like <laughs> if you're missing everything trying to target something just don't try to target it try to target something else you'll automatically hit it <laughs> but i guess that still brings in a little bit of a risk you know unless and until you're properly able to target it it defeats the whole damn purpose um so yeah and there you go either way they they show even at the end that everyone was like you know practicing like so at the morning everyone has like eye bags and they haven't slept so Kun is like what the hell you guys at least try to take a nap while you are on the on the on the airship um yeah and yeah this is where we see Kun is very much concerned about this group and he's like what the hell is this like you know like <laughs> he's like these people they are you know like like I don't I, I don't like you know I don't know what to like you know say and he, he's like basically he's like very much um like concerned about the whole situation because as Dan says that this group isn't really perfect or a genius group and up until now every character that Kuhn has worked with were genius in their own right and they were really good so he didn't really have to think or con be concerned this much so Dan says this is also a test for you as well you know which is true like you know like this is his test of like he's he's like learning to work with a group who who he hasn't worked with up until now like adaptation he's able, he's learning how to adapt with different people that kind of thing anyways so yeah in the end as we see they sent a message to kun and there everyone's like we passed we're going to the worship battle so you know all well and good and then we see each and every group you know endosis group rock you know all of them are like on their way to the workshop battle and yeah, and then we see this random person talking to someone. Like, I don't understand what's going on here. Someone's trying to interact with him and says, like, stuff like... Yeah, he's talking about, like, the game has just begun, this and that. Anyways, I, I'm guessing we'll get more context later. Uh, yeah, and then finally, on the day of the workshop battle, um, yeah, they're ready. Everyone's ready to leave. Um yeah and while going and uh like you know kun talks uh, tells like uh talks about the other groups and uh Wagner is like oh i wonder if endors is going to be there and he's like in his own delusion mode about endorsey <laughs> yeah either way kun is like i do wonder how stronger they have gotten um right also we got to know that uh Hwarum has told him that do not uh, reveal your identity or Bump's identity. Like, if that happens, uh, everything's will go in a very messy direction. Uh, you know, like, if the tower gets to know that he's Bum is alive, yeah, that will be a very big problem. Um, right, and so, like, and Kuhn as well. So, you know, like, keep your identity a secret. Also, we get to see Viola's new group, where Laran and the other guy, they were, like, shackled, so Bum tells the masked dude to take out the shackle. And, uh, you know, I, I don't remember his name, the, the green, the guy with the green tracksuit or whatever. He says, he's like, oh, why are you like, you know, like, why are you helping us that much? And he's like, don't worry about it. You guys are Kuhn's friends. You know, you don't have to worry about it. You'll get your answers later. Yeah. And Ran knows that he kind of like secretly messaged, Viole kind of secretly messaged him that uh, Kuhn is alive. So Ran is probably helping Viole out because of that reason. Yeah. Either way, there you go. Everyone is there, you know, like in that over there, and uh, everyone is ready for the workshop battle. At night, Viole comes across a scene where a certain person is on the run from someone. So, you know, and that's where it ended. So, do wonder who that is, and you know, like wonder what's going to happen. Either way, uh, that was today's episode, and uh, yeah, let's see. Let's wait for the battle. Um, so that is it. Thank you for watching. This was my reaction to episode 13 of Tower of God Season 2. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. That is it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Tower of God. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.